sir, what is the meaning of being opinionless? It is not the same as being shirtless. When you are shirtless, it means you are not wearing shirt at all. Hmm? And if you do that, we'll object to it. Hmm? Being opinionless means not taking your personal opinions seriously. Having a near total flexibility when it comes to opinions. Your opinions must be a slave of the facts. Hmm? The way the mind is and the way one is bound to operate in the world, you will necessarily have to tether yourself to some opinion or the other just for the sake of functioning just for the sake of functioning. But you should never be rigid about your opinion. The moment you come across a fact, the opinion must be surrendered to the fact. You are standing at a crossing and do not know whether you go right or left. Because you are clueless, you start walking towards the left. Hmm? That is some kind of an opinion. All right, let's go to the left. It may come from your past experiences. It may come from the condition of the road. It may come from something that you see towards the left or towards the right. So you start walking. But you go a little distance to the left and you discover that you should have gone right. Then you immediately turn around. That is what is meant by being opinionless. I will not become a slave to my opinions. The moment I discover that something else needs to be done, I will oblige, I will comply. Yes? There will be no resistance, there will be no inertia. I will be a slave to the truth. I will go in the direction it commands me to. I will not take even one second dithering over what to do. Moment it is seen that I should have gone to other direction, I will I'll correct my course. I will not say that I have invested so much in walking towards this direction. How do I now suddenly take a U-turn? I will suddenly take a U-turn irrespective of how much I have invested in my current opinion, I will give it up. Space in the book. But somehow I feel that even though we keep on using time and space time and again, but then uh, it's not understood like what time and space exactly. How oh, exactly these two things? Things. Things, mind, movement, that is time and space. World. Anything that can be described and defined as X, Y, Z, T, that is time and space. And everything that you see is X, Y, Z, T. That is time and space. Hmm? So you don't need to think about it too much. In general, just say everything is time and space. He is time and space, he is time and space, he is time and space, mind is time and space, imagination is time and space, past is time and space, future is time and space. Anything and everything about which anything can be said is time and space. Is it truth is not in the time and space. 
the moment you say truth is in it is in time and space but it, but it, in, in its entirety it's not in time space. in its entirety only then we can talk when we are in our entirety so there is nothing called an objective entirety entirety is always in the subject 